analyzation. That's not a bloody word, is it? <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well. Now in this video, I wanted to talk through my first full week of training down here in Devon. For those of you that don't know that I've moved or relocated, uh, check out some of my previous videos where I've talked about it. But I wanted to talk through my first full week of training, analyze it, show you guys exactly what I did. That's why I've got my laptop here to show you my training peaks. And I'll pop some bits up on my Strava as well for you guys to, to go and see. And the reason why I want to do this is because it's probably the biggest thing people ask me about is how many hours am I doing? Um, what's my kind of split up between swim, bike and run? How am I planning it and everything like that? So that's the reason why I wanted to do this is to answer all of those questions. Here we are. So this is the overview of this week of training. If I scroll down a little bit, you can see the rest of it there. Um, and I thought what I'd do is go through kind of the overall stuff and then individual sports, swim, bike and run because there are a few key things to mention on each. But let's just go through the overall volume is uh, 26 and a half hours. That for me is actually like I've got used to that kind of volume. I haven't just push myself into doing that kind of higher, I, I I'm not going to say high volume because there's people out there that are doing actually quite a bit more than that, but a higher volume than, than some other people. Um, and as I've kind of been going through this kind of prep for this season, I've been increasing my, my volume and I've got up to sort of 30 hours of training a week. And now I've kind of pulled it back a little bit to sort of 26 to 28 hours a week. I find that's sort of my sweet spot. So let's go through swim, bike and run. And the first thing you'll notice here is there's not much swimming. <laughs> and that's, uh, well, yeah, that's, 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 that's bad on my part. Um, ideally, I would want sort of eight to nine hours of swimming a week and about 25K of swimming. That's what I'm used to. And that's what I feel is is really good for me. As, as a guy who's not a natural swimmer, I feel like I need that extra kind of volume and just that consistency as well. And having moved house and not being used to the swim timetables and having um, less swim time available, it has been a bit of a hiccup this week. So that's one thing that I really want to focus on. I really want to get back to where it needs to be. Myself and Jack, who's my new training partner, we are in negotiations with the local swimming pool and we're going to see if we can basically get some longer swim slots so instead of 60 minutes we can get in for 90 minutes and have our own lane which would be amazing so fingers crossed that happens because that would be fantastic but yeah as you can see the swimming like i've got some in but this week definitely hasn't been a huge swim week that's for sure uh only like five hours of swimming which isn't great and um yeah as you can see on that wednesday I missed my session, so I ended up doing an open water swim uh, in like eight degrees water, and I lasted about 17 minutes, <laughs> so it wasn't great. I think I'm gonna go out today as well and have another one, but uh, yeah, hopefully I last a little bit longer. So yeah, the swimming is something that I really need to focus on. Like I said, as someone who's not a natural swimmer, um, it gives me quite a lot of confidence when I do have that extra volume and not having that, it kind of is a bit like, oh God, I end up getting to the pool and feeling like a, a rock or something. So that's something to really focus on. And I'm sure as I get used to being in this environment and having the facilities around, that will get better. Now let's move on to the biking. This is probably actually one of my best weeks of riding. I absolutely loved it. Overall riding has been about 15, 15 and a half hours, which for me is actually pretty good. Normally I kind of hover around 12, 13 hours, but because there was kind of slightly less swimming this week, um, as you'll notice, um, I kind of bumped the riding up a little bit and actually felt really, really good. So as you can see, a few specific kind of intensity sessions in there and then quite a bit of volume added on top of that and actually I'm finding the the volume riding the extra volume is helping so much not just with the riding but the running as well and I'll move on to the running in a little bit but yeah I nearly nearly knocked out 500k which I'm really happy with um it, yeah it would be awesome to kind of tip over that 500k mark but I'm not just going to chase it for the sake of chasing it uh so yeah awesome awesome bike week felt really good during the sessions and then just kept easy stuff really nice and easy and it was fantastic. So go and check out my Strava for all my routes and uh, give me a follow, yeah? 
<laughs> let's move on to the running because it's actually been a really good run week as well. I have done um, about six and a half hours of running, so duration wise, not not crazy amount, like an okay amount, but not, not crazy. Um, but that's been sort of just over 80K of running, which is really, really good. Um, as you can tell from my Strava, that's a fairly big week for me. Normally I kind of hover around sort of 65 to 75K, don't normally go over that but it felt really good. Obviously I've got some specific sessions in here as well and some decent kind of long runs and just added kind of volume in there, which is really good. As you'll see on all of my Stravas as well from my bike and my running, the last few weeks, it's just, it fluctuates so much purely because of everything that's gone on in the last month, as I've alluded to in my last few videos. So that's not something to go off of like, oh, I, you know, I've just had a crazy week of training. The last few weeks, have been just so up and down with things um, and so much stress that I haven't trained as much as I wanted to, I would normally do. So um, yeah, this is very much like back to a, a normal kind of week and a decent week of training. So bear that in mind. Like I said, on the cycling side of things, I feel like a higher volume for me really helps. Like 15 hours of riding this week was really, really good and nearly 500K, I was really, really happy with that. And it felt really good and it had a positive transfer over to my running as well. Felt really good on the running this week. However, with my running, I definitely feel like that is the sort of limit for my um, duration and, well, not necessarily duration, but that's the limit for my distance per week, I think. I don't really feel like I could go much more than that without impacting other things. Um, like the like the cycling and swimming and stuff like that. Um, I know a lot of high volume athletes that are doing upwards of kind of 100k of running a week. And I personally, for me, I don't feel like that's necessarily um, a, the best place to be for me. So 80k, a little bit above 80k is kind of my upper limit. And I feel like this has been a, a really good run week with some really good intensity, some really confidence inducing sessions, but also just like some decent volume as well in there, which has been really positive. Now, as you will also notice, along with the lack of swimming, there has been zero gym work. Um, and that's partly because uh, Tom at Body Development, the guy who does all my um, all my gym sessions, go and check them out in the description below. Um, he's kind of given me this first week to kind of relax, chill, um, kind of find my feet a little bit. And then we're going to plan some gym sessions where either I do kind of online stuff with them and I find a space in the house that I can use for, for gym, gym stuff and I'll have to buy some buy some equipment, some basic stuff, or I'll go to a local gym, maybe in Biddeford or Barnstable and see what kind of uh, things they've got there available. But so that would be normally gym sessions, three, three and a half hours, maybe four hours of training. So that would kind of tip me up towards the 30 hour mark if that was included. But because that wasn't included, I have increased my cycling a little bit. So if I did have the gym stuff, my cycling would may perhaps have dropped a little bit, if that sort of makes sense. So the overall volume probably would have stayed about the same. But there you have it, a really positive week of training for me. First week of training, really, really happy with knocking that out of the park. A few things to really focus on are the swimming and getting back into the gym work. Um, but it's actually been nice to take a step away from the gym work and feel the benefits that I've got from that. And I was saying to Lydia the other day, actually having moved here and all the all the stuff that's gone on in the background the last month or so, it's actually been a massive blessing in disguise for two reasons. Number one, it's forced us to come down here and relocate, which honestly is one of the best decisions I've ever made. I absolutely love it here already. And it's just fantastic to actually be here full time. Don't feel like I need to go anywhere else, which is amazing. And number two, it's forced me to recover. You might have seen from when I was documenting on the channel, um, kind of in January, February time, I was doing some big volume training and that was awesome, but I was definitely like, I was getting quite fatigued. I was getting a little bit ropey. And then kind of when I went through some stuff and which has forced me to come down here, I, as you can see on my Strava, I backed off from the training, didn't get as much done as I would have wanted because of stress and all of this rubbish. Um, but actually, that almost is a blessing because it forced me to recover from that high volume training, get the get the rewards that I've got from it, um, recover fully, and then get back into training. And, and this week of training has actually felt, I'm not going to say it's felt easy, but it's felt really, really 
strong. I haven't felt weak at any moments. I haven't felt absolutely knackered. I haven't felt absolutely bull bagged. I'm going into this next week with another week that looks like this, um, another few weeks that look like this, and then I'm going to taper towards Mallorca. And it's just a really positive place to be, having had some really big volume, forced recovery, change of environment, and now I'm back on it and um, I'm working hard, but I'm feeling really, really strong, which is amazing. If any of you have any questions about anything specific with regards to my training or the structure or anything at all, drop it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know how your training is going as well. Let me know what races you've got coming up. I love chatting with you guys. I appreciate you guys watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.